Hello students and parents, welcome back to my channel with another science tutorial video today. In my today's video, I am going to explain you one of the most important chapter of physics that is conductors and insulators. So, let's get started. Materials that allow electricity to flow through them are called conductors. All metals generally are good conductors. Materials that do not allow electricity to flow through them are called bad conductors or insulators, non-metals except graphite. Suppose wood, glass and plastics are bad conductors. The measure of the ability of a substance to conduct electricity is called electrical conductivity. That is conductors show good conductivity while insulators show poor conductivity. Have you ever felt any kind of shivering experience or little bit electric shock while you are touching any electrical appliances in your home? But this kind of electric shock you will never feel when you are touching any plastic material or any wooden material or any glass material, isn't it? This occurs because metal is a good conductor and plastic, wood, glass, these are bad conductors or insulators. When we come in contact with a the conductor, there occurs a flow of electrons from one body to another. This is the reason we experience shock. Shock is basically a mini feeling of current passing through the body. Let us learn more about conductors and insulators. Conductors are materials or substances which allow electricity to flow through them. They conduct electricity because they allow electrons to flow easily inside them from one atom to another atom. Metals, human beings, earth and animals are all conductors. This is the reason we get electric shock. Moreover, the human body is a good conductor so it provides a resistance free path from the current to flow from where to body. Conductors have free electrons on its surface which allow current to pass through easily. This is the reason why conductors are able to conduct electricity. In metals, silver is the best conductor of electricity but it is costly so we don't use silver in industries and transmission of electricity. Copper, brass, steel, gold and aluminium are good conductors of electricity. We use them in industrial purpose and mercury is an excellent liquid conductor. Insulators are the materials or substances which resist or don't allow the current to flow through them. In general, they are solid in nature. Also, insulators are finding use in a variety of systems. Insulators are protectors. They give protection against heat, sound and of course passage of electricity. Therefore, insulators don't have any free electrons. It is the main reason why they don't conduct electricity. Let's discuss the difference between conductors and insulators. A conductor allows current to flow easily through it. Insulators don't allow current to flow through it. Electric charge exists on the surface of the conductor. Electric charges are absent in insulator. Conductors don't store energy when kept in a magnetic field. Insulators store energy when kept in a magnetic field. Thermal conductivity of a conductor is very high. Thermal conductivity of an insulator is very low. The resistance of a conductor is very low. The resistance of insulator is very high. Copper, aluminum and mercury are some conductors. Wood, paper and ceramic are some insulators. Conductors are used in making electrical equipment. Insulators are used in insulating electrical equipment for safety purpose. So, I hope my today's video will make your study more interesting to you. Do follow my channel to get good marks in science. Bye bye for today.